Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian from JP Cycles. One of the quickest ways to boost both performance and style is to add an air cleaner. These big bikes like to breathe. In order to do that, we need to allow them with a high flow air filter and air cleaner. Now I have a 2019 Road King and an Arlen Ness air cleaner. To start the install, we need to remove this cover. To do that, I'm gonna use a 516th Allen. Let's get started. Now, you can see your paper element air filter. We'll need to remove this with a couple hex bits, and then this just clips in at the bottom. Now you can remove the element. On the back side here, you'll see the emissions. We're gonna remove these anyway, so feel free to just unplug that hose from your air filter. Next, just remove the emission hoses here and set it aside. Using a 716 socket, carefully remove these two emission screws. That's what holds the whole base of this uh, air cleaner on here. With your OEM air cleaner off, inspect your throttle body here. So don't push or touch in the, the uh, butterfly in here. Just inspect the outside here. Make sure there's no dirt or debris that can get inside and contaminate and harm your motor. If you do have any dirt or crud in there, just use a, uh, a light rag and some brake cleaner to get it out. The next step in our build is to remove this mounting plate. The next step is the uh, Arlen Ness supplied rubber gasket. So we're gonna put this on the face of the throttle body. But before we do that, to help hold it in place while we grab our tools and install, we'll throw a small bit of grease around here. With your grease on the throttle body face, just mate your gasket up to it and kind of stick it in place. Next, take your Arlen Ness plate which is pretty nice actually. You're not gonna see this, but they even have it etched in. So you're gonna take some grease and rub it on these two notches here. An O-ring's gonna sit in there. So the grease is gonna help hold those in. As we did for the two O-rings on the back of the backing plate, we're gonna do it in here as well. Take your banjo bolts and put them through those holes that we just uh, put O-rings in. Next, you can line up with your OEM mounting bracket holes and lightly thread in. Let's tighten these up using a quarter inch Allen. Before you tighten these up all the way, make sure that your holes are still lined up with your gasket and your throttle body. Using the supplied bolts from Arlen, we're gonna take a 316 Allen and then secure the mounting plate to the throttle body. With your mounting plate secure, next you're gonna to wanna to take your new air filter and grease the outer ring here. We do this so forms a tight seal on this back plate. Again, you don't need to get crazy with the grease. Once you have the back greased up, simply install it and your air cleaner cover. Now, before we install the air cleaner, Arlen Ness supplies you with these two little spacers. All they simply do is fill in the gap on the back of this air cleaner plate. So they just sit in there like so. Now take your air filter and make sure you use the, uh, the name branding here and put that up and down and align it with the holes on the mounting plate. Once you have that aligned, take the supplied bolts and simply thread them in. Now, with your new air cleaner firmly secured, make sure to give it one last wipe down to get rid of any extra grease or fingerprints. 
you're ready to ride. You'll notice immediate results from both sound and performance feel out of it. Now, if you combine this air cleaner with a full system exhaust and some type of tune, you're gonna get great results out of that M8 motor. When you go to jpcycles.com, make sure to use the bike fitment. Put your bike in, get the right air filter, install it, and get out and ride.